everyone. Today I'm going for another workout with Josh Vogel. So I put up on my Instagram asking you guys what it is that you wanted to see us train. Feedback was pretty much mixed between chest and back. Uh, but we decided we'd do a back workout just because the MI40 gym has so much sweet back equipment that's both custom made and unique to the gym. Right now I'm just getting some breakfast. So I've got my usual egg whites. And then I've also got some of this maple and brown sugar oatmeal. So I think I'm gonna have two packets of that. It's 11 a.m. now. We're gonna be training at 12. So this will be my pre-workout meal. Shredded cheddar cheese on top of the egg whites and some raspberries. And this is two packets of brown sugar cinnamon oatmeal. And then I usually have a kiwi in the morning, but right now I don't have any kiwis left. So I've been drinking this, I don't know what it is. Is this like kiwi juice since the 10K challenge? For some reason, I've just like, by the way, after the 10K challenge, um, I've just been feeling like my appetite is really suppressed. So just a quick update on this. The first day after I weighed, I think I was up three pounds, which was way less than I expected. Then the day after that, I was up, I think one and a half pounds. And now today is the third day after, and I'm still up a couple of pounds, even though my caloric intake has been quite low for the last couple days. I'd say the first day after I ate under a thousand calories. The day after that, I would say I ate maybe around 2000 calories. Uh, that was yesterday. Now today, I'm just gonna try to eat normally, probably somewhere within like 2,500 to 3,000 range. Honestly, the only thing that I really noticed after the 10K challenge was that one, my appetite was really low, and two, the pumps in the gym have been really, really good despite a, a low caloric intake on the days that I train, uh, which, which I thought was interesting. But anyway, that's enough about the challenge. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and then I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So I've got my pre-workout. Uh, it's just 200 milligrams of caffeine. And then I'm also taking Blue Raspberry Steel Pumped product. It's got um, beetroot extract in it and eggmatine, which for me anyway, has been pretty effective in terms of uh, increasing the pump, vascularity, that sort of thing. And I'm trying to mix this up in the car, so let's see how this goes. I brought an extra bottle. Oh, did you? All right. And then I brought a sheet of paper. Oh, sweet, thank you. Alright, it's cool to be back here. It feels like I was just here. Yo, what's going on? Good man. This is Stephanie. Josh. Josh. Yeah, nice to meet you. Dude, I'm a bit bigger now. Did a 10k challenge. <laughs> so I'm like a water balloon. What? I'm gonna start with this? Yeah. Okay. Damn, you look bigger too, man. Are you heavier than last time I was here? Shirt smaller? <laughs> single arm nautilus rows. Uh, Same concept over there. We're not thinking about pulling with the bicep. Right. We're going to think about driving the elbow down and just as far down as we can get. Once mm -hmm. we get to about right here for me, that's where my life is now going to be fully short. Right, right. I'm not worried about coming here and right. going like that. Right, exactly. I'm not trying to train yeah. anything else except my lap seat. So one of the uh, 
main functions of the lat is shoulder extension. So what you would do in a front raise, raising the arm up in front of you is flexion. Extension is the opposite, so bringing your arm down in, the, in this plane. The other thing that the lat up does is shoulder reduction, so that's bringing it to the side. So it brings the arm down, when out to the side, and it brings the arm down to the front. So what Josh is saying is rather than focus on coming back, which is going to involve more traps, he wants to isolate the lats. So he's thinking about driving the elbow only. So when you watch him do the movement, his elbow is going through like this sort of an arc rather than straight back, which is involving a lot more bicep and a lot less lats. So like you get that right? Do the row, they end up with the arm at this angle. Yeah. A lot of that is going to be bicep, your delts, your traps, everything. When you're here, your bicep is like soft. Right. My lap is not going to be full. Yeah. And you, like, I, I don't know, this could just be me, but like, I feel a lot more of a stronger contraction in my lower yes. lap. When I think about just simply doing that, keeping the, keeping the elbow sort of up, or like this part of my arm up, and squeezing in and pressing down, rather than just coming straight back. Yeah. There. To there. Jeff do it as well. When we do a partial, we're not just going, ah, rah, we're same thing, really focusing, keeping the elbow down. And as it gets harder, I don't want you to think about bringing it back. No, just start to decrease your range of motion and train it through a different part of the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to take our lap to complete failure. Right. So why bring the other motion? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Maintain the form, perhaps drop the weight it's back, like or shorten the range of motion up. to extend it's like the like a barbell curl when it starts to swing. Yeah. There's in my opinion, no point in doing right. so. Yeah. Just decrease that range of motion. Just get to the Squeeze. Good. Come on. Uh, let's go. Good. Uh, let's go. Four. Come on. One more. Uh, Come on. Good. Uh, not bad for a warm up set. <laughs> <laughs> this is a prime lap pull down. So the cool part about the prime equipment is this right here. These different notches are where you can load the weight at. So you can overload it at the beginning, the mid, or the end range of motion. So you can train through different parts of the strength curve. Here we're going to focus on the stretch position. So we're going to overload it the most at the beginning. And as we pull down, it's going to gradually get easier. Let me just make sure I got this. So if you load, if you load the place here, yes. it's going to be heavier here and lighter here. Correct. If you load them here, it's going to be light here and get heavier as you yes. go down. Okay, so I think I think this is the smartest way yes. to do it. Grip position, do you keep it neutral the whole 
time or do you um, to start neutral and I'll supinate it? Yeah. Okay. Back angle. Do you lean back at all or do you try to stay more yes. upright? So straight posture here. I lean back just slightly and I try to stay there. I think it's pretty much the retraction. I try to keep my scapula retracted the entire time. And as I let my arms go up, I'm trying to keep it together. And my arms and the weight are going to pull it apart. Right, right. Retract and pull it apart. This is amazing, man. Like, I'm yeah, not used to... It, it, typically, the way the strength curve is, is that it, it feels harder as you get here and you can't bring it all the way down. With the way it's up here, it, it's harder at the top and then it kind of maintains a smoother yeah. curve. After pull-ups, we're going to go into our final exercise sets, which is going to be just for metabolic work. We're going to do a giant set. We're going to go into a magnum row, which is going to focus on the lengthen to mid. Seated cable row, pull down into a four core exercise. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do a bit of posing in here, so I uh, just finished up with the back. <laughs> Go 
with my balls hit the nails. Way back in the back, I've been laid up. Flight's been direct, not a layup. Lately, I've been wanna take a stood. It's in the back, bang, power on a monopier. Yeah. All right, well, what's up, everyone? Uh, so we just finished up with the workout with Josh. Um, I want to give a shout out to Josh. Thanks so much for taking me through that workout. I feel like I learned a lot and I took a lot of things away from the training session that I'm going to apply to my own training. Josh is really good with cueing certain movements and I found it to be very helpful. Um, also, we did a leg training video a couple weeks ago, uh, so I'll put the link to that right here in case you guys haven't seen that one yet. I'm just going to grab some, actually, I'll show you. I'm just grabbing some. Uh, sushi that I had left over from last night um, so that's going to be my post-workout meal along with a whey protein shake which I already had. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video that's very helpful. Excuse me. That's very helpful to me. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I've got a bunch of videos coming out, uh, science-based informative videos as well as uh, training videos similar to this one. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much again. See you in the next video. I got one hand on the title. I got one hand on a rifle They yelling I'm next and I just got a check So many O's it look like a typo